look at this 12 foot high 600 pound heart it was greeted by amanda daniels spokesperson for the american heart association heart disease is a silent killer it kills more women than all the cancers combined at 18 i was diagnosed with arrhythmia and several years later at 25 years old i was diagnosed with cardiomyopathy which is also heart failure no words can describe the feeling being diagnosed with heart failure at 25 years old i was told i wouldn't be able to have children because of the medications that i was on and also because the strength of my heart was so weak i was yeah. angry i was scared i was depressed but with the help of surgery and daily medication amanda after five years and with the clearance of her doctors gave birth to a baby girl i reached a point where i just embraced this fear and i embraced my diagnosis and i realized that i am a heart patient but i also have to live two years later she was pregnant again. I defied the odds, and now here I have two amazing, beautiful little girls, Sophie and Olivia, and I could never imagine my life without them. Amanda will need medication for the rest of her life, but as her recent echocardiogram shows... You've come a long way. I was really concerned when I did get diagnosed because there was no form of support out there. There were no support groups. And you help other people. You're doing more for people than you realize. Living with heart disease is just the beginning of my story. I've created a heart healthy movement. I inspire people to overcome their greatest heartbreaks and to live heart healthy. Amanda Daniels was just 25 when she was diagnosed with heart failure. Now this extra special correspondent is healthy and teaming up with an interventional cardiologist. Tell me about the importance of calling 911 if someone does feel like they might be having a heart attack. Immediate treatment is important. Take an aspirin and actually chew it so it's absorbed in the bloodstream quicker. There's going to be over a hundred high school students. They're coming to hear my heart story. I am a spokesperson for Women Heart, which is a national coalition. I started a support group with Elisa Beckett, who's another survivor. It's really important that there's a safe environment for women to come that have been diagnosed with heart disease. Knowledge is power. Empower yourself. Know about heart disease. I always advise that people know their ABCs. Are you supposed to be on aspirin therapy? Do you know your blood pressure? Do you know your cholesterol? Spread the message and let people know that I am also the face of heart disease.